Hello guys, welcome to 3D Home and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys something very very amazing, okay? I'll be showing you guys how to model this particular column. I actually did this using just um just two two materials, yeah, two types of um materials. One was the main column and the second one was um, um complex profile. So the amazing thing about this column is that this is just a single column, like you can move it from here and there okay you can move it anywhere you want to move it's not like um you call it you model with different materials that when you move one you have to group them before it can work but this is just single materials just a couple of two materials yeah two materials so i'm going to open a new page okay i'm going to open a new page and on this new page we'll use some few guys from the other column to model this one so now if you check our 3d you see that there's nothing here now let's get into the business all right so you can you can either do it here on 3d or the major settings are just inside so first thing you need to do is click on this column okay because this column actually want to model so click on column once you click on column click on setting dialogues all right setting dialogues for the column and then I need to be explaining something. I need to be explaining something. I need to be explaining something. All right. So from from that particular call, let me go back to the other side. From here now, you can see there are segments. Okay, these ones, these things are known as segments. This first one is known as the first segment. This one is known as the second segment. This other one is known as the third segment. The fourth segment. This long one is the fourth segment. This one is the fifth, fifth um, segment, the sixth segment, and the seventh segment. So, but we'll be clicking, um, yeah, we'll be adding extra, we'll be adding extra six segments. So, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, once you, once your page is new, you can see, once you open it based on default, once you click on column and you click on setting dialogues, this is what you'll see. So click on segment. Remember we have seven segments there, all right? But we're going to create six because this one is already known as a segment, all right? So how do you get to that segment? You can see multi-segmented. While this one is just a single segment. So you click on this multi-segmented, all right? So once you click on multi-segmented, this, um, this is where we add uh, more segment. So once you click on once you click on this, another one will appear, okay? It will, it will keep increasing. Remember, I said we are having seven segments, all right? So, as since we have seven, we are going to add, um, and this is one. So, uh, that means what is seven minus this one, we have six remaining, okay? So, we'll be adding extra six segments now. So, you click one, okay? You can see it's shifting. You click again two, all right? Three, four, five six so we have six segments now so now let's go back to the first one to the first one let me show you what we are about to model now you see this first one this one you're seeing this is what we're going to model actually the size is um 500 by 500 then by 200 depth so that's what we're going to do now all right so for this first one you can see these ones are different segments these particular ones so let's go back to the upper one the first one don't worry once you click on each of them it's going to highlight that particular segment so once you click on this one you can see this one is highlighted so we're going to change this one right um on, on your right hand side here you can see 300 by 300 by 500 so here is just um percentage but we don't need percentage okay that means we need to change it to where we can fix our own height so you click here so you can fix your height here okay also known as the depth so now the first segment remember i said 500 is 500 so type 500 automatically to change this one to 500 so this 500 and then the depth is 200 200 so this is the first one now all right so let's go back to this side so this is the first one we've done then this second one now this one you're seeing now this one is uh is this one is 500 this one should be 400 so this one is 400 okay by 100 so make it 400 so i'm actually using the, that particular one because we are trying to replicate what we just did there all right we're trying to model that same thing so you click on the second segment 
right don't forget is what 400 right automatically this one too will change to 400 bye don't forget to change it back to this side bye why we're, why we're going to keep changing this is because at the first time we didn't change all of we didn't change the first one before we added segments okay it was actually on percentage but well, don't worry as we move we'll be changing it to this fixed height okay remember i said this one is 400 by 100 by 100 you can see it's coming out now everything is coming out all right and then the next one let's be a bit fast the next one which is um this particular one this little one okay this is 500 by 50 so we quickly do that too so this is the next one now click we type in 500 and then click on this one make sure you take it back to this side 500 by 50 okay by 50 you can see we're achieving that now and then the next one is um this particular side that's a full column the length this one is known as the head or this one the base so it depends on what you want to call it actually but all right so let's get the main body which is this one this one is three meters okay three meters three meters by um 300 three meters by 300 so let's just go inside okay let's go inside um to this page and click on the next segment and type in um make sure you bring it back to this side okay fix height and type in three meters okay this is three meters and then the other segment is 500 500 by 50 500 by 50 all right by 50 then the next one the next one the segment make sure you don't click on join okay only only click on um, this um segments okay on this ones okay so this the next one now is um is 400 is 400 by okay we're going to make this one by 100 okay and then the last one which is the last segment the last segment is going to be 500 by um that should be 600 right yeah i think it should be 600 yeah by 600 500 by 600 then you click on okay all right click on okay so once you click on this particular point you can see that we have this design okay but we need to change something these lines are red we need to change them to black let me show you how to do that click click on this one on the column click on structural i'm um, sorry on floor plan and section and then you see all these ones change this first one to black change the next one to black change the this one to to black so this one should be okay let's see okay all right so the next thing now let me show you something very interesting okay you can see that these two these two are the other one and this one is white the colors are white and then this, this one to the same thing but the upper one is um light gray so let's quickly do that okay so let's change this two and this two to white so you click on sorry select the column first go inside and once you go inside remember we're still on that segment just go to the okay let's start from this one once you click on this point see model sometimes it might be like this make sure you click on model and then click the two and change them or link them change it to white glossy white and then let's go to the next one okay same thing on that model click the two chain them or link them then white then now we'll go to this one it is not the one i want to change then now this one double click on this two click inside please make sure you don't skip this process okay don't fast forward it because it's um, necessary okay you understand this and then the next one is this upper one all right don't forget to link surface all right or chain anyone then let's click okay 
so you can see these two now are white now there's one thing remaining okay you need to pay close attention on this one there's one thing remaining with this method you can model any column of your choice any column of your choice okay with this method okay any column you can see it's just single column it's just that we're doing the settings inside so now there's something i want you to take note of which is very 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 important check here you see that we have kind of three curves here right there's a curve here same thing on this side same thing on this side and same thing on this side so how do we do this now how do we do this now so this way you need to pay close attention first thing you need to do is if you're using the same 300 first thing you need to do is know the width of this main base um main column okay the body this one know the, know the main um the the, the the dimension remember we use 300 for this other one let me go back so you need to know the size of this one remember we use 300 for this one 300 by 300 so if you click on the column and go to your settings you see that on this particular segment um this middle segment is 300 by 300 okay so let's take note of that one now just close it click on this is the first method the second thing you need to do now is click on option and then click on complex profile. under complex profile click on profile manager and then create new now let's just type something we will not forget let's say body design body design let's say body design that's the column body or column body design column body design and then click ok so now come to document select line underline remember the body is 300 right 300 by 300 by 300 and then we need to join this nope this is not option something is a bit wrong okay let's see 300 by 300 okay all right so now this is the this is a plan view this is a plan view of that um column okay plan view of the column so now let's just quickly model any shape of our choice so you can decide to you know you can decide to do anything here okay or let's say 20 and um 50 okay so it actually depends on what you want let's move this one to this side where's the middle point okay this is the middle point so you can decide to change this one to what you want all right if it's the exact thing we want to model you can bring this one down you can bring this one down and then we select some um duplicate them since it's the same thing we want to do duplicate them to this side and then now select these ones and let's mirror them down to this other side this is mirror select the middle tap control click ok be sure that it's touching this line okay then let's rotate this part and have a copy of it tap control to have a copy of it okay so we are moving this one all the way to this side okay this is the middle all the way to this side and then now we are going to mirror this one please pay attention okay and if you don't like the video please do well to like the video okay you can do it as you're watching now yep let me click that all right so let's mirror this part okay since it's highlighted it will automatically mirror if we drag it this way 
and then don't forget to tap your control anytime you want to mirror so that this other one will not leave to this side okay so after getting this one this is how the circles actually the semicircles i'll just pick my i'll press on i'll click on my fill tool press and hold my space bar key and then i'll click inside this one and then i'll click on this ones too all right on this ones too i'll click like this and then i'll fill in this ones too this ones too then i'll click outside don't forget this middle one once we want to change the color actually to light gray remember it's light gray so sometimes this one will not be open but make sure this component selected make sure it's open and then check on override from override you just click on this um box here and change the material remember i said that one is light gray so this is light gray and then for this ones i'll just put down my shift key and select all of them all of these ones i want to change them to white color so i'll just click on the same override and click here and change them to glossy white then now something very very important if you don't check this you might not actually get it right click on this column because it's column we want it to go vertical all right so click on column and then uncheck this wall you're seeing uncheck the wall you're seeing and then click on save before then don't forget the name column body design right so we click on save now let's close let's go and change this one now okay to that particular design we just did so click on this column click on the, this other setting dialogs and then this is the segment actually this one is the top but this one is this particular segment so now we want to change it from this one we have to the one we just designed how do we do that okay what we need to do now is click on this structural okay under the structure you see rectangular this is actually an act section you click on this one is circle you click on this one is um uh, this is an act section actually this will permit you to have custom this place then click on this arrow remember the name is what column body design click on column body design. this is already showing okay and then click on okay let's see what we have you know why it's like this <laughs> thank god we have this let me show you okay now let's go and do something very important i know some of you will have some of this challenge but thank god we have this one so that i can show you guys what you need to do now so click on the column like this no need of clicking on the column let's go and do the settings inside just click on option click on com um, complex profile click on profile manager click on this custom and let's select that particular column so let click on the column and click on edit we are editing it now now the reason for that thing is because of this you see this x you're seeing should be the middle point of this particular column so how do we get the center of this column let's first of all highlight everything that is here and then let's group it group Mm -hmm. so we can move everything at once so how i normally get the middle point is that i don't i don't want to come and start assuming the middle here i'll just take my, my line from here to here and another line from here to here where these two lines are touching is actually the middle point so i'll click here click on these lines or i'll hold my shift key click on these lines okay and then click on this particular one then i'll move this one all the way from here i'll move it so this middle point okay so we have the middle now i can remove these lines since i'm done and then i'll click on save now automatically that column will adjust itself so you can see we have it here now all right so i think we'll be, end, we'll be stopping here for today all right so that the video don't become too long please if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button okay and then if you find the video helpful please subscribe all right We'll be stopping here today and then on our next tutorial if you have any question please drop it on the comment section i'll attend to you all right so on our next tutorial we'll proceed with another design all right thank you once again for your time see you in our next tutorial don't forget to share and to like